forbearance from legal activity. Another issue that the courts have considered is whether forbearance from legal activity is a good consideration. What if a relative of yours says that if you stop complaining about how hard studying law is, he will pay off your car loan? Do you think not complaining will be taken as a good consideration by the courts? Looking at the UK case law, it appears that forbearance of an act can be good consideration only if you are giving up a right. It appears that giving up rights can be legally sufficient benefit, but giving up something you had no right to do in the first place cannot. In White v. Blewett, 1853, the defendant owed his father money and had given him a promissory note. The plaintiff, the father's executor, sued for the money. The defendant claimed that his father has promised to write off the debt if he stopped complaining about the father's distribution of his assets, which he had done. The issue was whether forbearance from a permissible legal conduct, complaining in this case, sufficient consideration to create an enforceable contract. The defendant had not provided consideration. He had no legal right to complain, so not complaining was an intangible benefit. If I ask you to argue that this case will be decided differently in today's world, what would be the basis for your argument? Let me give you a hint. Remember, this was back in 1853 and free speech has come a long way since then. Don't you think it seems a little strange now to say that a person has no right to complain? Perhaps it would be more appropriate today to say that the son did give up a right or freedom to complain and suffered a detriment in return for the promise. On this note, let's look at a US case. This is an American case, so it does not overrule White versus Blewett, but you can certainly discuss it while arguing about the issue. In Hammer versus Sidway, 1891, the plaintiff was promised $5,000 by his uncle if he refrained from drinking liquor, using tobacco, swearing, and playing card or billiard for money until he should become 21 years of age. The plaintiff complied. The defendant, the executor of the uncle's will, then refused to pay. Again, the issue was whether forbearance from a permissible legal conduct is sufficient consideration to create an enforceable contract. It was held that the promise was enforceable as the plaintiff provided consideration by restricting his lawful activity.